In this video we're going to be having a look at updating Docker for Drupal, meaning a way to update to the latest version of the Docker for Drupal setup. In addition, we're going to also have a look at how to override the container configuration. So here we are having a look at the Docker for Drupal's GitHub page. And if we check the commits here, we're basically seeing what's happening with this project. So we see there was something happening on the 1st of November. There were some important stuff happening on the 29th. And that is basically something that we're interested in. Here it's update traffic to version 2.0. And traffic is basically a cloud native edge router, which is an open source reverse proxy and load balancer. And in the Docker for Drupal, it's basically being used for redirecting internally to the correct container. For example, here we have the traffic container and it's listening on port 8000. And internally, for example, if we want to open let's say mailhawk the mailhawk container sets some configuration to the traffic and it says that the internal domain would be mailhawk dot the project base url and that's super cool it's also for the nginx as you see here here it's using the main project base url and it's being used also for phpMyAdmin and all kinds of other containers. And it's super important that we have the latest version of this wonderful tool. And yeah, if we want to, basically. So in order to do that, I will show you a Drupal project that I have that is using a older version of the Docker for Drupal. As we see here in the Docker Compose YAML file, for the traffic, it's using version 1.7.16. And I want the latest version. So in order to do that, I will jump to the GitHub page of Docker for Drupal. And as I opened here the Docker Compose YAML file, I will just check the row and I will mark O and copy it. And in my local Docker Compose YAML, if I have any specific changes, I should note them and I should mark here and paste everything. So now I have the latest version of the Docker Compose YAML. And let's imagine that I had, for example, the PHP my admin container and let's copy it and in order to activate it without uncommenting it here we're going to use the docker compose over at yaml so we're going to jump to the docker compose over at yaml file or you should create it if you don't have it and we're going to simply paste the PHP my admin container setup and we shouldn't comment it. And this way, with the Docker Compose override YAML file, we're activating something. We're activating in this instance a container, and we're also able to change stuff. For example, for the PHP container, for example, for the PHP container, sometimes we need to increase the memory limit. And in order to do that, we should just override the environment and there is a memory limit environment here. I will show you that in a different video. But what we did here is basically we updated the Docker Compose and we put the specific changes in the Docker Compose override YAML file. And here I happen to know that there was also a change in the .n file and 
basically we're going to experience that as we are running docker compose up minus d so i'm opening the terminal now and i'm in the profuo folder with the docker compose and the docker compose override yaml files so i'm going to simply run docker compose up minus d and it's complaining a bit it's saying that the db port variable is not set which is yeah which is not cool let's go ahead and jump back to the docker for drupal github page and if we have a look here at the n file we see that there is a db port variable here so let's just copy it and paste it in our n file so this way now if we again run docker compose up minus d we're going to see that now everything looks better and basically also the php my admin is created here and everything else is created correctly so let's quickly have a look at for example in this instance this is the base url so if we jump to chrome and if we open it under 8000 we see the drupal project which is without database so we can't see anything there but let's also open the php my admin and as you see here we have access to the php my admin container that we just created in our docker compose over at yaml file so that's it if you like this video please have a look at the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching